Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka in the tour van. We've got three fairway woods to test out today. The Ping G425 models, the Max, the LST, and the SFT. Uh, very exciting new clubs from Ping, the G425 series. Thomas, uh, I'm excited to get these tested out here. Uh, these are, they look awesome. Uh, and Ping's always been great with forgiveness too in their metal woods, so this should be a good one. Yeah, so you mentioned forgiveness. Ping is known for their forgiving levels with their fairy woods. So we're gonna test the three different models. We're gonna talk about kind of the, the new terminology with Ping G425, and that is spin-sistency. So consistent spin on yeah. off-center hits. It's very, very important because we wanna have a consistent carry distance when we are hitting our fairy woods. We also have the face wrap technology with the Ping G425 Fairy Woods as well. So that really helps to make a much larger area for those off-center hits for the Fairy Woods as well. Very, very strong face as well. Yeah, yeah. So all these technologies, of course, Ping's been great about implementing them into their clubs over the years and improving that performance. So in terms of our test today, Thomas, we've got the three clubs. Uh, what's the format going to be? Well, you know what? Surprise, Drew. I'm going to actually get you to test today. So you may have thought that I was going to test, but we're going to oh, switch yeah. this around a little bit. So the okay. reason why is you've got a little bit more speed than I do. I want to really compare the differences between the uh, Max and the LST model. I think you would fit probably more into the LST model. Mm -hmm. Also get you to hit the SFT model as well, just to show okay. the differences in curve. But if you're up for the challenge, I'm excited to kind of see how you, the numbers kind of compare when you get you to hit these fairy woods today. Yeah, I, I think I am up for the challenge. I also need a new fairy wood. So uh, my fairy wood's probably six, seven years old and I am a ping guy. I've got ping driver, ping irons. So I am very interested in these fairy woods. So yeah, I'm actually, you know what? I'm very excited and I'll be doing the testing. Um, hopefully I can be as consistent as you, but I don't think I, I'll be able to do that. Well, very cool. So what we'll do is I'll get Drew to hit five shots with the LST, the Max and the ST, SFT model. We've got the Ping Tour Fairywood shaft in there as well. Probably one X golf ball, silver dot face up, so we can keep that spin consistent across the board. Uh, I'm excited to kind of see what happens. Yeah, I'm excited to hit some shots. This will be a little bit different. Before we uh, test the shots today, I just want to touch on what the shaft offerings are. So okay. we have the Ulta CB Slate. Okay. The CB Slate is going to have that 8 gram plug up the top of the grip, which really yeah. helps with consistency. Uh, across the board um, and also generate a little bit more speed for you as well. So it's a counterbalance shaft. We also have the Tensai Orange Roar. Mm -hmm. We have the Rogue White Silver, it's 130 MSI. We got the Ping Tour, which has been a staple for, for mm -hmm. a long time there as well. And then for those slower swing speed players, we also have the Ulta Distancer. Okay. So Ulta Distancer is that 40 gram golf shaft. Those are the five stock offerings from Ping, but definitely there's more shaft offer offerings out there that are more custom there as, as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the Ping Tour, I think this is 75S here, so uh, maybe not quite exactly what I would fit into, but again, this is, the Ping Tour shafts are always great, and it's actually what I play in my driver, so um, I have nothing but great things to say about this shaft, so this should be good for the test. I also want to touch real briefly on the grip. So, nice thing is with Ping, last couple of years, they've worked out a partnership with Arcos, so the Arco's smart grip actually comes stock with the uh, new ping equipment. So what you can do is you can analyze your data. I have been doing it in 2020. Very important to analyze your data and see how far you hit your particular clubs. You really generate, you, this is so much data that you learn about your golf game, which you can work with a club fitter, you can work with your instructor to really improve your gol golf game there too. So that comes stock with, with ping, and I believe it's like a 90 day free trial. So the 360 Arco's smart grip comes stock with the G425 equipment. Nice, and then of course, last but not least, uh, if you enjoy our content, enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel and give this video a like as well. And then leave a comment as well, because we read all the comments, we enjoy your feedback. So um, without further ado, Thomas, I would like to hit some shots if that's okay with you. I'm excited to see what happens. Okay, Drew, so you've got the G425 Max, correct? Yep. First thing, noticing here at address, you can notice it no longer has those turbulators anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's the big notice right away is, you know, the last three, four generations, there's been the turbulators kind of on the crown, taking those out and it's, I mean, it's clean for sure, with the matte finish on top and then the three alignment dots there. You can definitely tell um, that it's, it's cleaner and I, I really like the look of it. Yeah, I think 
the turbulators with the drivers really helps with aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. But with the ferry word and the hybrid, probably not as much as a smaller volume head. Right. So that's why they're, they're trying something different with regards to helping players line up to the middle of the club face. Mm -hmm. So let's start off with the G425 Max. Okay. Okay, so you hit five shots with the G425 Max. So first, let's just touch on how that looks at address, because we, you know, we talked about mm -hmm. it's missing the turbulators now. How does it look? I mean, yeah, it's very clean. Uh, I think the, the profile is, I think, a tad larger than the Fairwood I play. Um, but with that said, it's not like, you know, overwhelmingly large or like difficult to look at. So very clean. And again, I've been very um, expressive about how I like the matte club head look. So I, I think Ping smashed it out of the park in terms of appearance. It seemed like it was really forgiving. Mm -hmm. It just definitely seemed like your consistency across the board. Now you don't maybe not quite as your ball striking is not quite at level where what I'm at. Yeah. But even still we can see from left to right how that carry distance consistency was kind of important. Just kind of between like 260 and 270. Definitely stood out to me. You can see here we scroll across here to the right. You can see carry distance yeah. 261 to 270, so that's pretty good. So very, very good consistency with regards to carry distance, mm -hmm. which was a very, very important. Yeah, um, I mean, I felt like a couple of those two, I'd actually hit low on the face, which is sort of what, um, you know, they've made that change to the club face, de-lofting it a little bit towards the bottom. And like, see right there, for example, a couple yep. lower on the face where it's a little bit de-lofted, and through that, they're able to lower spin and keep the carry distance up when you miss hit it a little bit. Yeah, spin consistency. So spin consistency yeah. is kind of the, the big thing for G, Ping G425. This is a good example right here. We'll notice, yeah, the spin rate just a little bit higher than what your average is on the first shot there. But this is a good example right here. So 3,500 was just slightly below your average, mm -hmm. but it still carried 266. So it was still basically doing exactly what your mm -hmm. carry distance was doing. So what Ping has done is the bottom of the face is actually about two and a half degrees mm -hmm. less loft on it to really help with that spin retention. So we want to make sure the ball carries the same distance every single time. So you notice we have a pretty wide range here of spin rate. We, you had the one here you got on the, on the toe side a little bit. Notice the spin rate was lower. That's exactly what I would expect, high toe. Yeah. But then you got these other ones that were slightly kind of on the lower side here. And you can see it's still within a, nine yards so very very important with regards to consistency across mm -hmm. the face there with those and we can see how your distance carry distance was very very important yeah. so yeah so now with lst would assume um you know the, the spin should drop just a little bit there given the the center of gravity a little bit forward farther forward in the club head yeah so speaking of the lst let's test that next your spin rate with the g425 so like 3671 so let's see if it is a little less spin all right So drew five shots with the G425 LST model. I noticed a significant dif difference in spin. Mm -hmm. For sure, a big, big difference there in spin. It was really interesting because you did swing a little bit faster here on those last five shots. We noticed your club speed jumped from 108.7 with the max to 110.4 with the LST. But the spin rate stayed down. So we'll notice the spin rate was a, just a little bit over 600 mm -hmm. RPMs less than the max even though your launch angle was the exact same. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of really impressive with me, the fact that the spin rate stayed down. Because the spin rate stayed down, check out this distance. You had, you had, I think you had a couple that were, I think 305, I think I noticed one, one shot there. A couple over 300 total. 30, 305 total distance. Yeah, and then you'll notice these other ones were hovering just under, but very, very good shots. Mm -hmm. So very impressive there with the uh, G425. Could you notice any difference Looking down at it, did it look like it's a little smaller club head yeah. at all? Mm -hmm. Like significant or? It's still like a little bit of a, uh, there's a, it's kind of triangular a little bit, um, but it's still small and compact. So it's still, I think it does give that forgiveness sort of towards the back in the shape. It's more of a kind of a triangle, yep. but at the same time, it's compact and it does obviously provide the low spin that showed up on TrackMan for us. Um, so, I mean, that's a really good club for, I think, a high swing speed player keeping the spin down, you know, something off the tee 
could work, but also at the same time, if you're trying to keep something below the wind as well, keep that ball flight from going too high. And then I even was noticed a couple, like my miss hit out to the right there. Obviously it went out to the right because the face angle was open, but the spin stayed down and distance kept up still. It did. We're talking about this shot right here. Your yep. spin rate maybe got it slight on the toe, but notice how the spin rate stayed just under mm -hmm. 3,000, which is really kind of impressive, which was just under what your average spin rate was yeah. there as well. So Ping prides themselves on their forgiveness with their fairy woods, even in their LST model. Mm -hmm. You talked about the height, so you talked about how maybe flew a little bit lower. It was 10 feet lower than the G425 Max. So about 600 RPMs, okay. lower spin, and about 10 feet lower with the height, just under 100. So very, very close, very good numbers across the board there mm -hmm. between those two. So with you being a little higher swing speed player, I wish I could swing my three wood at 110 miles an hour. LST model was def mm -hmm. would definitely be a good fit for you there as, as well. Yeah, you mentioned you were having a hard time with uh, a little bit leaving the ball out to the right a little bit, and I was maybe hovering a little to the right side. So the final fairy wood we're going to test is the SFT model. Mm -hmm. So straight flight technology. Be interesting to see what happens in the direction with the direction of this club. Yeah, because that's you know uh, same with the drivers too. You got that weight in the heel to really uh, promote that draw bias. So um, I'm curious about someone with my swing speed probably shouldn't be playing the head. But hopefully we'll see with the changes, um, you know, with the, the weighting in that club head, we'll probably see some differences in my ball flight. Well, we'll just see what happens uh, since we got you doing the ro robotic testing today. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens. Testing. Yeah. <laughs> So first starting off with the uh, SFT model, you first mentioned to me the club head size different. How does that look compared to the, the Max and the uh, LST model? It's, it's large. It's very large looking down at it, which, you know, inspires the confidence and, you know, you know that there's forgiveness packed in this club. Um, and you know there's a high launch below the center of gravity. It's all brought lower and farther back um, in this club head compared to the other two. And you could tell that right away. And then of course you notice the, well A, the increased loft, and then B, um, you notice kind of more weight in the heel there too, which is fighting a slice, which is, or a push, which is obviously a little bit of my tendency. So you can tell on the, the circles, now it's a larger circle because I had a couple that I really hooked to the left there, but um, you can definitely tell that it fights that trajectory to hit the ball to the right for me, or I guess a lefty hitting it ball out to the left. Yeah, so first let's just touch on the loft differences between these three models. The SFT has 16 degrees of loft on the three wood, while the Max and the LST has 14 and a half. So that's going to help also mm -hmm. get that club face to kind of turn over and fly a little bit higher as well. But then you talked about direction. So I've clicked on this shot right here. This is the only shot that really stayed to the right. Notice it had one foot of curve to the right. So yeah. basically absolute dead straight yeah. is what, what that shot was there. But then you'll notice these other ones were on average curving about 73 feet to the left. If we look at the other shots, you had a couple in there that had more curve to the right on your, on your miss hits. Mm -hmm. There's a couple, especially with the, the max head, the couple there over to the right. So if we look at your averages, you can see the average curve was 73 feet to the left with the SFT model. Your average curve was minimal, nine to the left with the LST and max was basically dead straight on, mm -hmm. on average there as well. So you can see for sure that that, L that SFT model is significantly easier to get that club face to turn right. over and get the ball to go left. It's such a, it's a definitely a very forgiving yeah. for all bias fairy wood. Yeah, you can definitely just look at it and tell, okay, I'm not slicing this, this club right here. And I think you can tell on the map too, but I'm very impressed because I think the feel, uh, with all of them was pretty good. Uh, I mean, even with the ones you can maybe tell you didn't quite catch in the center, it still felt, you know, pleasing, right? It wasn't a, the super obnoxious feel when you miss the center, which I know is something that manufacturers really try to go after nowadays, is providing the good feel while uh, performance, but also feel when you miss the center. And I think Ping's done a really good job with that, um, with these fairy woods here. Yeah, so now you wouldn't fit into this particular model because yeah. well, you know what happened when you hit this one is you, you dropped a little bit of ball speed, your spin rate, went up quite a bit there as well. A little bit to do with loft, but also to do with the center of gravity on, on the club there as well. So this would be a great option for a player, a little slower swing speed, 
slices the ball a little bit yeah. to get that ball to turn over a little bit, get the ball up in the air and fly a little higher. We noticed your launch angle went up a little bit. Um, spin rate went up significantly, so 3,900. So a little bit higher than the max there as well. So you, you lost a little bit of distance there yeah. because it was spinning more a little yeah. bit over there and it flew just a little bit higher on average there too. And that's interesting because you had some a couple in there that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's interesting because you had a couple in there that were quite significantly going to the left side. Yeah. What happens usually when you hit it left is the, the height's going to be a little bit lower because that club face is going to be a little bit more kind of closed, kind of de-lofting there as, as well there across the board. So on average, your face angle, it was the only club that you were able to get your face angle closed on average. So it was mm -hmm. negative 0 0.8 where you would notice the other two were around about two degrees open. And yeah. that's why they stayed a little to the right where this one turned over. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. It's not something that, you know, I, I guess I didn't feel myself doing anything or you don't, you don't really feel the club closing more as you're swinging with this club, but you, then you, you look at the trackman numbers and I mean, it's a three degree difference or something like that, but it's, it does make a, a large um, impact on the result of the shot if you look at the map there, so. Uh, but yeah, I, again, feels really good. I thought the sound, the sound is kind of like, it's a little bit loud, but it's, it's nothing, I mean, it's still really solid uh, all across the board, like you say. So I'm, you know, I think Penguin did a really good job with these fairy woods. Yeah, definitely loud and echoey while we're inside in, the, in, the, in this right. bay. But it's definitely a little on the louder side. A lot of people like that louder feel mm -hmm. they, when they crush it. Oh yeah. It's got that ping sound to it, I yes. guess. This, uh, yeah, it, 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 sound, it sounds good, it's not overwhelming. It's just, yeah, it, mm -hmm. you know when you hit it well. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So uh, I have, you know, nothing else to say about these clubs. I mean, there's, you know, performance is good. I, I hit the LST over 300 yards a couple of times. So that's, that's very that exciting. That you did. That's yeah. very exciting. But, uh, you know, it can, there's, a very, there's a clear difference between each three models, right? You know, the Max is kind of your standard, you know, high launch, low spin uh, combination and the forgiveness in there as well. The LST, kind of that lower launch, lower spin, uh, penetrating ball flight with the LST, and of course the SFT, anti-slice, uh, a little bit higher launch, and a little bit more forgiveness in there too. So I guess for golfers that are watching this, it just depends on uh, what you're looking for out of your game, especially in the fairway category. And then from there, talking to a fitter at second swing, and identifying which one is right for your game. Yeah, I think the big piece is the G425 technology, whether that be the, the face wrap, Mm -hmm. whether that be spin consistency or whether that be the change in the, in the alignment with the dots versus the turbulators, it's going to help all golfers of all different types. Yep. So whether that be SFT, LST, or Max, depends on the, depends the type of golfer you are. Come on in the second swing and we'll definitely look after you. We'll get you fit. Come on into our stores or work with Fitter online. And also keep in mind if these fairy woods are outperforming your current gamer, Bring that in as well. We do accept trades. So we get one of the highest industry level trades uh, on our Golf 6 value guide and also in our stores there as well, which really helps to offset the pricing on your new equipment. So Drew, thanks for uh, hitting some golf shots for me today. That, that, was, that was impressive. I, I was really impressed with the differences and maybe we'll get you testing a little bit more going forward. Yeah, it's been a little bit, it's been fun over here on this side of the table for a change. <laughs>